Hey Jackals, in today's video we'll take a look how to add lighting and shadows to 3D objects inside DaVinci Resolve to get something like this. Now let's get digital. So this is my fusion composition, I have a robot, I have a cube, I have a sphere and I have another sphere. And if I didn't change the colors of these spheres, you would just think this is one object and made inside 2D, with ellipses maybe. Something that you would see inside the 3D scene if this was just a solid color of the same type. And so to differentiate between the 3D objects inside the 3D scene, you'll add some lighting. I have a bunch of lighting down here and I'll simply connect this and we still don't see any difference, but with the merge selected and displayed, you can see how the scene looks like. So I have a spotlight above the head of the robot. I have a point light from behind. This will give us some ring light some ambient light, it doesn't matter where you put this because it affects the whole scene, and some directional light, it also doesn't matter where you put it, but you have to know that it will affect the scene from the direction that this line points. And quickly, if you want to know how to make this animation, you'll add a transform 3D, control space, transform, and you would use this one. Just as I've done here, you position the object away from the coordinate system, so it's not zero as you can see, and then you simply animate rotation in the 3D transform in the X, Y, and Z rotation. Now as for the lighting, the magic happens, not in the media out, it happens inside render 3D. As you can see, you have a lighting tab that you have to open, you can enable the lighting, and then you can also enable the shadows. So we got this result just by enabling the shadows and the lighting. And that's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.